Night Shift, A Gnome's Tale. Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a gnome named Belcher. He was unlike any other gnome in the land. Belcher was a fierce warrior with a burly beard and a love for adventure. One day, he was squired to a knight named Sir Reginald, who was known for his bravery and gallantry. Belcher and Sir Reginald were tasked with hunting down a ferocious dragon that was causing chaos in the nearby villages. They set out on their journey, with Sir Reginald leading the way, and Belcher following close behind. As they trekked through the forest, Belcher noticed that Sir Reginald seemed more interested in boasting about his past conquests than actually fighting the dragon. But Belcher wasn't too worried. He knew he was more than capable of taking down the beast himself. Eventually, they reached the dragon's lair. Sir Reginald drew his sword and prepared to charge, but Belcher pushed him aside and said, I've got this. And with that, he charged into battle. Belcher fought bravely, dodging flames and slashing at the dragon with his sword. Sir Reginald just stood back and watched, looking quite impressed. But the real hero was Belcher, who landed the final blow and slayed the dragon. When they returned to the kingdom, the people cheered and praised Sir Reginald for his bravery. He basked in the glory, soaking up all of the attention. But Belcher knew the truth. He had done all of the work and fighting, and Sir Reginald had just stood by and watched. So, he decided to play a little prank on Sir Reginald. The next time they were in front of a large crowd, Belcher stepped forward and said, I'd just like to take a moment to give credit where credit is due. Sir Reginald was absolutely brilliant in this battle. He managed to keep his eyes open the whole time, and he didn't trip over any rocks. It was really quite impressive. Sir Reginald looked confused, but the crowd laughed and cheered. Belcher had outsmarted him and made him look like a fool. From that day forward, Sir Reginald was known as the knight who didn't do much, and Belcher became a legend in his own right. And so, Belcher and Sir Reginald continued on their adventures, with Belcher doing all of the work and fighting, and Sir Reginald getting all of the credit. But that was okay with Belcher. He knew the truth, and that was all that mattered to him.